You haven't saved or healed your team up. You better do both. It is time to face the champion. You're the champion? Why do I always meet champions and none of them ever bother to tell me the important fact that they are the champion? It's like they lie to me. Ha ha ha. Champion. If you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, spoiler, it's gonna be Steven Stone. Nevertheless. Alright, Wallace. I'm ready to go. Right here and now. Ooh, baby! Wallace is the champion for a reason. Starts off with Well Ward, level 57 water type. It moves Rain Dance, Water Spout, Double Edge, and Blizzard. Strong. Very strong. Water Spout, spout deals out a lot of damage if he has like maxed out health like right now. Double Edge does recoil. Always a bad effect. And Blizzard is just a good attack and move. In general, you're better facing this thing when it's weak. Evil. Wallace is like Guan. He uses water types. He's a water type user. So that is how he rolls. I'm going to send out Spark here. I'm going to use Thunderbolt. I'm willing to bet that he is going to use Water Spout, thinking he can do a ton of damage, but I'm faster than him. And then he's probably going to do something silly, like switch to Whiskash. I, I mean, I can predict it. I am 100% positive that a Whiskash switch is going to come. <laughs> How do I know this? Well, I kind of did a practice round. I don't normally do practice rounds at the Elite Four, but I went to do a practice round with the champion just to make sure I can at least take the thing down. But, um, yeah, his team is up around level 56, 7s, up in that general range. Evil. He's much stronger than the rest of the Elite Four, so. If you're coming into this battle thinking it's easy, you got another thing coming for you. I kind of am disappointed that Steven isn't the champion in Emerald, because I think Steven was far more epic. But, oh well, I guess that's how things work. It is kind of natural that the champion of Hoenn would use water types. After all, this is like the region of water types. I guess he isn't going to switch to Whiskash. I would have lost some money there if I was making a bet. Okay, well, Ward's down. You're probably wondering why I was wasting my time reviving Skarmory. I'm gonna need Skarmory. <laughs> so, yeah, I need him alive. Gyarados, I'm not even gonna bar switching. This thing's a level 56 water flying type Dragon Dance Earthquake, Hyper Beam, and Surf. This thing. If it uses Dragon Dance, you are doomed. You might as well quit and go home. So kill it off quickly with a good electric move. And you are good to go. Four times a week, so you should have no problem annihilating the thing. Whiskash, this one's actually a bit of a tricky one for me to take down, because I don't have anything that's like what I consider good against Whiskash. Hmm. This is going to be a quick little test here that will most likely fail. I'm going to try the Swords Dance Slash combo. Whiskash is a level 56 water ground type. That means electric types do not work, so forget about them. Moves are Earthquake, Surf, Amnesia, and Hyper Beam. This is going to be a failed tactic, but I'm going to try it anyway. Earthquake and Surf deal out pretty much the standard damage. Amnesia is irritating if you are using special moves, particularly Grass. Hyper Beam limits it from attacking again. It's perfect. And that King's Rock paid off! I knew it would. Aw, oh, jeez. I shouldn't have used Quick Attack. 
I should use the Nerf Swords Dance. Cause then I'd be in prime position for a sweep. Flinch! Or critical, one or the other. That's nice. That is nice. I'm liking this. I'm very, very lucky. Tentacruel! Level 55, water poison type. Moves are Toxic, Hydro Pump, Sludge Bomb, and Ice Beam. Though his lowest level Pokemon, do not underestimate it. It is strong, it is very powerful, and Toxic is irritating. Should have used Quick Attack. You definitely do not want to take this thing lightly. It is powerful. Best bet on this thing is probably ground types. It's a weird type, but that's the best bet. That would be what I would be rolling with. Obviously, the standard electric type moves work good as well. I don't have Earthquake on my Swamper, because my Swamper is lame. To, like the weakest swampert in the world but fear not i will get through this if you're using grass moves keep in mind the poison type does not make it super effective and i think this tentacle this particular tentacle has liquid ooze for its ability which means you will be hurting yourself with uh, absorbing moves such as giga drain and mega drain and stuff like that i'm glad mudshot didn't miss at all sometimes i have a rotten luck with my shot. Okay, here it is. In my opinion, the strongest of his team. Ludicolo, level 56, water grass type. It can use Giga Drain, Surf, Leech Seed. Guess what? He's a double team noob. Boo! Boo! No one likes double team noobs, Wallace. He also has a leech seed, which is irritating. If you are not killing this thing off quickly with flying moves, I'm in a very inconvenient position because I have fly, which takes two turns to set up. If you do not kill this thing off quickly, you are doomed. Forget it. It's over. Game over. Because double team... And water grass type, flying is really its only weakness. You are in for a horrible, evil time with the Ludi Polo if you cannot kill it off quickly enough. Melotix, the last on the roster. This is his main Pokemon. I still consider Ludi Polo his strongest, but Melotic is his strongest statistically. It's a level 58 water type. It moves recover. Sir, Ice Beam. Guess what? Toxic. It's evil. I am just setting up a leech seed. Mockmush is not meant to live. Mockmush should live that. I was right. Mockmush should not get frozen! Ah! That was cool. No. Ice. Freeze has always been a blessing to me. I have always had the best of luck with freezes. One time I was playing and I like froze something for 20 straight turns. Freezes love me. No questions asked. Uh, I'm just gonna suffer Mockmush. Mockmush isn't meant to live here. Mockmush was meant to leech seed and move on. Melodic's moveset. I think I said it. Recover, surf, ice beam, toxic. Watch out for toxic. It's evil. Now this thing does have recover. Keep that in mind. That will evil, obviously. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice Tidal Wave for the good of goodness. Let's see, which poison should I pick? I could go for a freeze, or I could go for more power. I'm going for the more power, because I don't have good... <laughs> that counteracts that I just said about freeze luck. I don't have good luck in flipping the stats. So that's cool. Speed drop. Okay. Like I said, this thing's irritating. The recover will make it irritating. It also has a citrus berry. I'm surprised that they don't have like a berry that restores like 100 hit points. Okay, time for games is over. 
turn this thing off if it doesn't use recover. That is all she wrote. It was indeed a very elegant and beautiful battle. But, I win. I'm just too good for you. I'm sorry, I could use level 50s and I'll annihilate your level 57s.